Okay, this question comes from a VCAR 2019, and it's a maximum minimum question that's tech free, so you need to use calculus. Since we are maximizing the area, what we'll need to do is to get an expression for the area in terms of x. Then take the derivative of a with respect to x and set it equal to 0. Solve for x. And then sub the x value into a of x to find the maximum area. So that's the process we need for a maximum minimum in exam 1. So we have a graph of this semicircle, and we've got point P that sits on the relation. A is at 1, 0, B is at x, 0. So this x at point B and this x at point P have the same coordinates. So if x equals 0, then this would be what my triangle would look like. And if it was negative a half, this is what my triangle would look like. And obviously you can see bigger size triangles are being drawn for different values of P, so they all have different areas. So you, to, to assist you in doing this, the first question is find an expression for PB in terms of X only. So this is PB. So I'm interested in the Y coordinate of P because the y coordinate of b is 0, so this height will be that y coordinate of p. And since p is a point on the graph, then that y coordinate is the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this is the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, they deliberately did that to help you find the area of the triangle, because it's going to be a half times base times the height. And this is my height. 1 minus x squared to the half, and times a half. My base is going to be distance across here. Well, that distance is going to be 1, and this distance is going to be x. So x plus 1 will be my base. So I've got my expression for area. I need to take the derivative. So I can see I have a product rule that also involves a chain. So u is going to be a half x plus 1, which is a half x plus a half, therefore u dash equals a half. v is going to be 1 minus x squared to the half. So v dash involves a chain. I've got something to the power of a half. So a half, 1 minus x squared to the negative a half, and then on the inside I've got minus 2x which means the 2 and the half will cancel, so to leave minus x, 1 minus x squared to the negative a half. So dA dx is going to be u times v dash. So that's going to give me negative a half x, x plus 1, x 1 minus x squared, to the negative a half. So I've got the half, correct. I've got the negative, correct. I've got the x, the x plus one, plus this times this, which is a half, one minus x squared to the positive a half. I wish to set it equal to zero and then solve for x. So I need to factorize this to use the null factor law. I can take a half out as a common factor. I can't take an x, I can't take an x plus 1, but I can take a 1 minus x squared to the negative a half out as a common factor. So the half's gone, but the negative stays in, the x stays in, the x plus 1 stays in, but this bracket to the negative a half goes out. Plus the half goes out, and one of these to the power of negative a half goes out, so I'm left with 1 minus x squared on the inside, one of them. So 0 equals, uh, multiply this out, minus x squared minus x plus 1 minus x squared, all on top of 2 square root of 1 minus x squared. I can only get a 0 from the numerator. Therefore, minus 2x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. 
2x and x, 1 and 1, with a negative on the 2x gives me this times this is minus 2x, this times this is x, that leaves minus x, which is correct. So I've got minus 2x plus 1, x plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, x equals 1 half or negative 1. Now, if I come back up to my picture, if x equaled negative 1, I wouldn't have a triangle at all, and my area would be 0. So that represents a local minimum. So this one is for the minimum area. And this one's going to be my maximum area when x equals a half. The question's asking for the actual area. So if I come back up here to an expression for the area, area when x equals a half is going to be a half, a half plus one, and one minus a half squared, square root. We've got a half, three on two, one minus a quarter is three quarters square root, which gives me uh, three on four times root three on two, which is three root three on eight square units is my maximum area.